so glad you could be here today. Let's discuss Gary Vanderchuk's book. Why now is the time to crush it, cash in on your passion. The premise of Vanderchuk's book is this. Making money from one of your passions is easier than you think using social networking tools. This brings us to our buzzword of the day. Passion. Vanderchuk's motto is, passion is everything. Wow, how inspiring. Vanderchuk's life is literally the American dream. He built his father's liquor business from a $4 million a year business to a $50 business. He simply took his passion for wine and learned how to use online videos, Twitter, and other internet tools to communicate more personally with his customers. It's a simple idea, yet it's one that many business owners don't think to use. Use the internet, a free resource to advertise and promote your business. It's as simple as that. Vaynerchuk offers very practical advice. He says, as long as you work hard to use the internet to your business's advantage, you can literally build a business you are passionate about from the ground up. Creating a personal brand is another key to success that Vaynerchuk offers. Don't imitate what other people have done. Be yourself. People want originality and the truth about your product. I think this book is a great tool for people who are starting a business. It offers business savvy advice that anyone can use. There are a couple problems I have with Vaynerchuk, however. Gary's rule for rules for success are love your family, work super hard, and live your passion. This is great. But what if living your passion conflicts with loving your family? Multiple times, Gary tells his readers to quit their jobs to pursue their passion. That is a nice way to try out the American dream, but it almost seems a little bit too good to be true, doesn't it? Our culture is very focused on the individual and doing what I love and what I want to do and what I'm passionate about, regardless of what anyone else says. I would like to find some biblical evidence that says this is the right way to live. Isn't Christianity all about com community and putting others first? I think that by selfishly pursuing our passions, we could potentially hurt our family or other people who depend on us. Take my mom, for example. She works for my school district back at home. She makes an awesome paycheck and has great medical insurance and a good retirement plan. Her job, though, she thinks is a little bit mediocre. It's not what she's passionate about. She could quit her job at any time if she wanted to, but if she did, wouldn't she believe she be losing her health care and her retirement plan? And wouldn't that harm our family? Because my father does not have a job that provides health care, she can't do this. Many times my mother has thought about giving it all up, cashing in on her passion. But I would like to think that my mother is doing what is the best interest, what is what is in the best interest for her family by keeping her current job and working a few more years. Leaving her job could be dangerous for all of us. My mom cares for others more than herself. That seems a little bit more biblical to me than what than Vaynerchuk's principle, his simple solution to starting fresh. And I do not think he should be offering such reckless advice. 